Apex Legends has just teased the brand new heirloom that is most likely coming in season 14. And also the casual community has fired out at the pro players and the pro players got mad right back at them and fired right back at them as well. And it's gotten very heated over on Twitter. I'm very interested to see which side of the spectrum that you guys are on on this. And then also we got some Apex Legends records being broken and some rather unfortunate and tragic news to one of our favorite Apex influencers in the community. So make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new as always. And let's go for 1000 likes on this video because it is Mr. And Mrs. J Miles' two year anniversary tomorrow without further ado let's jump right into the video so the first thing that i wanted to mention here really really quickly rainy day gaming one of the algs commentators for apex legends and also a youtube influencer a guy that people know and love he has a great radio voice probably most distinguishable by his voice because it's just so iconic anyhow he was actually in a very bad accident a physical accident might i say with an electric bike and woke up in the er i guess i say two nights ago is what his tweet says without any information of what happened or how the crash happened his bike was never found he goes into detail is exactly what happened to his body and man it is some very very scary stuff thankfully it does seem like he is healing it doesn't look like he is recovering so that is really good news to see but man it is absolutely a scare moment especially for someone who's such a big part of the apex legends community so make sure to go show him your support maybe it'll make his day a little bit better that's the best that we could honestly do over on the internet but nonetheless we are very glad that he's okay i've known him for quite some time and for a big scary moment like that definitely shocked the apex community but now let's jump into the apex side of things and this is where you want to grab your glitch energy with using code j miles by the way to get your 25 percent off and you're gonna sip that bad boy while you eat your popcorn and listen to this so there was a member of the apex legends casual community that got a very viral video over on twitter this thing actually did some crazy numbers 4222 likes and it was a video complaining about the pro players and before i show you what happened after the fact take a look at some of these notable clips from this video that really ticked a lot of people off this is a rant about how i truly think apex legends is being ruined by a certain demographic and that demographic is the pro players. I don't give a f if this is your job. There is millions of other players having their fun ruined because you decided you wanted to take Apex Legends too seriously for a living. So surely you can sit back and think, okay, I want this change, but this change would cause everyone else, the majority, literally 98% of the rest of the players in the world to have a much less fun time playing their favorite game. I won't suggest it. Can I just say, if you were a real CEO, you'd understand the basic fundamentals of ensuring the majority of your customers are happy and not the minority. So in my eyes, you ain't the f CEO of f and I respect every dev and know all of you are doing the best job you can. So on behalf of the community, thank you. But you really need to stop catering to every demand an emotional, close-minded pro player suggests. So obviously, his point here was the fact that pro players have way too much sway. They're changing the game way too much based off the fact of what they want and not necessarily what the majority of the player base wants. And then the pro players here had a lot to say in regards to this. We actually not even had just pro players, but Apex Legends streamers, Apex Legends YouTubers, one of those being Garrett Leagues. Unfortunately, Garrett decided to delete his tweet, and I don't even remember what it said, but they go on back and forth, though. Garrett was saying, when you are doing the very thing you are complaining about, the authenticity of your whole argument crumbles. That was just straight crying. You made no solid points, nothing whatsoever. It could have been articulated way better. Now, a pro player for Team Alliance, whose name is Vibes, retweeted this and says, what the top 1% of Apex players want to do is make the game more healthy for everyone if certain things seem unfair. Giving feedback is always great towards the devs, so they can keep the game updated and even more fun but let's complain about the ones giving the feedback calling them a clown now another apex legends youtuber named otter made a response to this also saying these videos are pandering and rage bait i refuse to believe anything else and then there was also a tweet from pvp and even though he did not directly reply to this video he made it at the same exact time that all of this news was going viral so you can kind of assume that maybe this was in response to that video and he said this in quote pros ruin apex legends while also apex is at the highest of all time players basically called that ideology a facade and not valid another person by the name of light who's very well implemented into the apex legends competitive community said this has got to be the worst rant i've ever seen by a casual player the game has actually become a thousand times better when the devs started implementing suggestions from the pro players but you refuse to see it we just hit an all-time peak player account at season 14 drop you are just a closed-minded casual the person who made the video lucky chappy responded said we just smashed the all-time peak players record for this season it's the first season where they actually catered more to the casual players over the pros who 
who would have thought and then broccoli man responded here saying didn't you just describe a bunch of changes that you thought the devs made just for the pro players but yet this season was all focused on the casual all of a sudden you're flip-flopping your argument so i am very very interested to see down in the comment section below which side of the spectrum that you guys are on on this one the reason being is because more often than not i actually do agree that pros are sometimes quick to complain sometimes quick to gripe and get on twitter and say we need this change we need that change and more often than not it's really all because of one situation it's the first thought that comes to their mind a lot of times i do think that their opinions make sense how many people in the conversation today are personal friends of mine and lucky chappy being one of those as well and although he is a friend of mine i will just respectfully disagree with his take on this one one of the points he makes is that if you are a real ceo i guess calling out imperial how here saying that basically you would make sure that the majority of your player base was happy and not the minority and while on paper it makes sense the minority is not to be ignored because they could, could be considered experts in their fields if you will who actually have a great deal of knowledge of how the game is supposed to be played a lot of the casual players may not realize it but a lot of the changes that they want to make actually benefit them as well now let's not get this confused i do think the pros still have a bad habit of sometimes getting on twitter and ranting about things that don't need to be ranted about and then trying to force changes that don't need to be made sometimes you got to be careful with that because they are pro players and they probably do have a higher chance of getting listened to over than obviously your basic casual player i think a lot of the changes that they've been advocating for recently actually are pretty good for the game but there are some times as well where they get on twitter and they probably have some bad takes they probably have some bad rants uh, trying to make changes that don't need to be made so i'm not saying i agree with the pro players always but i would say overall if you look back the game is more healthy now than what it used to be and honestly could be way more healthy if they would listen to the pro players and change the matchmaking like the pro players are asking for it to be but i don't think that's just a pro player thing i think everybody's calling for that now nice week had a very good take on this and unfortunately i couldn't screenshot it before he deleted the tweet i don't really know why he deleted the tweet however he said something along the lines of like maybe this is a good example of why things need to be different and ranked and they are pubs because i do think the self-revive is kind of fun for pubs right it gives a little spice in the mix if you will i think it makes it a little bit more fun a little bit more random a little bit more goofy and you know casual i guess you should say but obviously i don't think self-revive needs to be in ranked or algs whatsoever and i actually am glad that they did make that change but nice week eventually did make this video in response to it long story short basically saying it's a little far-fetched to say that pros ruined everything but does agree that there are some things that maybe to say that apex legends is being solely ruined off of just pro players complaining is pretty crazy i feel like to say that they listen to everything we want is crazy dude all pro players have so many suggestions that they never did a lot of the pros don't even like the updates themselves that's not a fair thing to say at all I regardless this is not to send hate towards anybody because like i said i'm pretty much friends with all of these people i have respect for all of these people including lucky chap he's a good friend of mine so i really don't want any hate sent towards anybody i just think i can respectfully have my own opinion just like you can as well which is i'm very interested to see what that is down in the comment section below where we can have a good healthy discussion without killing one another or feeling like we need to block each other or ban each other and not talk to each other ever again all because we have a different opinion speaking of different opinions many people have their own opinion as to which legend should be getting the next heirloom now we are pretty sure that it is going to be loba not only because the leaks in the past not only because you know we've been talking about it forever not only because the insiders have apparently said that they know what it is but this is coming from respawn themselves one of the great probably no it is the greatest developer over at respawn right now his name is moy the lead animator for apex legends tweeted this out yesterday and he says for whatever reason she's been on my mind lately and it's a picture of loba it's actually a gif of loba people are very confident that this has everything to do with the heirloom because the rumor has been that she will be getting the next heirloom and matter of fact if she is getting the next heirloom only one man and one man only would be working on the animations of that heirloom and that is mr moy well i'm sure it's obviously more than one person but moy's had a lot to do with it now the word on the street is that it's supposed to be like some kind of war fan thing i'm not exactly sure what it'll end up being regardless though this is a little bit of a good teaser i guess for all of you loba mains there's actually quite a bit of you every time i play stream a lot of you guys are loba either mains or just big loba simps i'm not sure regardless though i know you loba fans love loba and are so excited that she's finally going to be getting her heirloom very very soon also wanted to mention this very quickly there was apex legends record that was just broken here recently that is the most hours streamed on apex legends i guess this is all at once this guy streamed apparently 300 hours at once he's going for 500 hours absolutely absurd and i just can't believe this Some, somebody even commented here said this guy don't even know what the color of grass is so it's just absolutely insane but what an incredible record honestly that's a great commitment right there also don't forget the video giving one thousand dollars to one of my subscribers if they can complete this apex legends challenge is out right now the second episode of the gauntlet is down in the description below if you guys want to take a look also we're picking the next contestant in the comment section over there so make sure to go comment over there thank you all so much for watching leave a like on the video if you did enjoy subscribe to the channel if you're new as always and until the next time take care of yourselves and i'll see you later gators Thank you